So the idea is, uh, because I'm hosting this Singapore VR and AR meetup, so, so me and my friend was talking about like hosting this uh, web VR workshop for you know, people that you know, want to come on board on a, to make a uh, VR on website. Uh, uh, sorry, make a website with VR. So we came out, we just want to do something super simple, like, you know, like a plane, maybe make it you know, like a mountain niche and then with a skybox so that people can come aboard and see and work on it and can at least look at something nice, you know, right? So, so this is what we came up with. So how do we do it? So I think the documentation will start with, or the tutor will start with this. So we just ask them to create a plane with geometry and then, uh, and then put on the, you know, the grass texture on it. And after that, then we do the animation thing, the request animation, and then ask them to, you know, like camera dot Z plus equal one, and then, you know, keep doing it so that we keep moving front, right? Then, then maybe we we'll ask them to add a skybox, uh, uh, the sky shader by Joshua over there. So he did a really nice job with this. It's super awesome. Yeah, it's like, you know, he can just change the inclination and, you know, it's just super awesome, nice. So I just uh, get his code and then I plug it in and then this is how it looks like with the plane, right? So I change the inclination towards that. So, and then after that, then, yeah, because uh, somehow I need to change some of the shader stuff. So uh, I take a look at the WebGL inspector. It's a really, really awesome job also because it get, gets me to uh, inspect the WebGL and stuff. So then towards the mount, because I want to make the, uh, the plane to look a little bit like mountain. So, so we can, I, can, I can use Blender to do it, but I think it's nice to you know, put in some sign and cost because eventually, you will, I mean, whoever that learned this thing will need to use sign and cost for the animation and stuff like that. So, so one way to do it is you use the plane geometry and then you set the width and height of it and then you set the segment, let's say 32 to each of them so that you can have one, uh, 1,024 verticals to control around. So, so you loop the, with the vertex count and then you set the Y of it to this uh, sine and cos mashup, which looks something like this. Normally I like to use this uh, graph toy to look, make sure that it looks correctly uh, because if you can see it over here, I like to use this sign and uh, sorry, sign and sin x32 because because the thing is over here we got 32 uh, segments and then you know we x and y so you want it to you know like from here over here 32 you want to see what's the vertex looks like in a way so so this the graphing tools that I use which is quite awesome right so and then this is how it looks like, the, the mountain. After, after the, the uh, sign and cost mashup been added to it, right? So uh, this is after it's done. After I added the, uh, what do you call that? So because I tried to add the, some uh, grass at first, you can see the grass texture, but the thing is, it looks kind of weird. So, uh, because I think it's better to add some shader and make it make some noise and make it nicer. But then I decided to just use basic material because I don't want to add too much, uh, you know, complex thing to it. Because this is going to be just a simple tutorial for people to come on board, right? So I got a desert, right? So because I add some fox behind it, so it looks like. And then, uh, then I added some uh, web VR boilerplate to it, so it works in Oculus Rift. Right, and then it works out with the Google Cardboard too. You can, you guys can try it out in vstjh uh, GitHub IO slash Desert VR. Right, so. That's all. So I'm just going to do a lightning talk. This, so that's what I prepared. All right. Thank you. So where, where will you? Um, where will somebody go?
find out about this, uh, the DRA? Uh, it will be in the meetup.com. So Singapore, just Google search for Singapore VR and AR meetup. So Sorry? Yeah. Open it now. All right. Oh. That was your high score. Hold on. It's okay. All right. All right. Yep, that's it. Um, thanks everybody for coming. Um, there will be another meetup next month. Um, so if, if yeah, like I said, uh, anybody who um, knows somebody who they'd like to dog in to do a talk, um, please drop them in. Um, and uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll see you all next month. Oh, I also want to say uh, thanks to Marco for uh, recording all this stuff. Um, you know, on your mama. Where can you get?